In this series of video clips, we'll be doing the October 2014 exam, questions 2, 3, and 4. Question 2, 1 is use the following diagram to show how the equilibrium in the money market changes if the gross domestic product increases. Remember to label your diagram. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to identify which market you're going to do your changes in, which is the money market, as the question suggests. So the money market... Um, has the interest rate on the one axis and it has the quantity of the money of money on the other axis and because we don't have a money supply curve we'll only have a money demand curve which is downward sloping uh, so we'll call this demand for money zero or L as referred to in the textbook um, so an increase in GDP suggests that there's an increase in the income in the economy And money demand is a function of the interest rate and income. So an increase in the income means that there's an increase in the money demand. And an increase in the money demand means that the quantity, the demand for money curve will shift to the right. Okay. So to answer this question, you need to start at a, an equilibrium point on your original graph, which we can call E0. Remember to mark all your axes. So an increase in the money demand curve, as I said, will cause the money demand curve to shift to the right. And we'll mark this money demand curve as L1. Because the interest rate hasn't changed, the interest rate will remain at the same level. So you'll shift to a new equilibrium of E1, while the quantity of money will increase. So you'll get three marks for this question. The first mark will be for labeling your axis correctly, drawing the original demand curve, and showing your initial equilibrium. The second mark will be for showing correctly how the money demand curve has shifted to the right. And your last mark will be for showing your new equilibrium point, for showing the new quantity of money, and for showing that the interest rate has remained unchanged.